what's up 313 squad it's your girl 313 retro queen and i'm letting y'all know right now this is not the video i was supposed to drop today so i'm sitting at home you know i take some time because i don't always open up my boxes right away so when they come in from the delivery person or whatever ups fedex whatever and today i decided i have four boxes let me open up my shoes check them out right quick right so like it's all going well until I get to the last box. Um, I open it up. I'm excited when I take it out of the shipping box or whatever, right? I'm like, oh my God, look at this shoe. My GS has come in an OG box. I'm like, I'm so stoked, okay? I'm talking about the Fire Red 4. Yes, everybody who got the Fire Red 4 either early or whatever then did a video on it um whoever hit on the shot drop then already did a video on it um but this video is not like any of those other videos um i <laughs> am genuinely upset at this sneaker i have waited for this sneaker to release i've never had this sneaker in my collection so to finally be able to add it was really big for me so when i got the shoe you know like i said i got it off the nike shop shop drop here it is that's my size you see six y there it is see that nice box you know what i'm saying you got the jump man with the flight on top you know and all that this you know you see all that you see all that yeah very very nice i mean it's a little bit in the box but you know <laughs> i was too excited to even i'm um, to even care about that so um yeah, I commenced to opening up the box, and the first thing I, you know, you do, I'm like, oh my god, I got this shoe, right? You just kind of like, not really staring at it, really, you just kind of like, oh my god, that's it, you know what I'm saying? So, I put the shoe down, I came back to really look at the shoe, and then I came back and I looked at it, and I'm like, whoa, 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 hold up a minute, hold up a minute, like, I instantaneously got pissed off to the point of where I damn near had tears in my eyes okay so this is my left shoe and overall if you're looking at this shoe just from afar it looks pretty decent but when I tell you it feels like Nike sent me the most UA of UA -est of the fakest shoes like I, I I really can't believe this is what I got. <laughs> like, I mean, it's okay. So there's the sole or whatever, you know, the outsole. It's decent, you know what I'm saying? Whatever is in there. But when I got to the midsole, now the midsole is the reason why I am very selective nowadays with what uh, fours I pick up. And for me, if you all don't know um, about um a few years ago i guess right around when the midnight navy force came out stuff like that that's when they really stopped giving us this generic gs version of the four now this is the four that is the og style of four this is what they were giving us for fours for gs now if you see the difference in the midsole of the shoe basically it's it's a, it's a completely different midsole you don't have this portion here in it so i mean i got the shoe but you know it, it leaves something out you know what i'm saying like as a person with a small foot who has to buy gs shoes i do notice the difference because i'm an adult and you know just because i'm a smaller person doesn't mean i don't want to be close to the original as as they can get it so um to actually have this sneaker come out and have the exact same specifications as the men's pair and the actual OG pair, I'm very happy about. But let's get to the point of why I'm not happy. So like I said, looking at it overall, it's a decent shoe. But if you get really close up on here, if you see the black portion of that midsole there, like literally on this left shoe, around it just look at that black portion there if i angle it you could probably see it a little better you see that it literally looks like they painted my shoe and then 
let the paint kind of dry a little bit and then took like an old ass brush that wasn't clean and went back over the paint again because there are so many brush strokes in here and then when i look on this side on the medial side you see like right here where it looked like somebody like if you took eraser and was erasing on a blank piece of paper and it's just kind of like rubbed off is there and then if you look even closer on that white portion right here see right there there's a little circular spot that spot looked like somebody took a little white out and was like, okay, we're going to touch this up right here. This shoe looks like it has been <sighs> repainted by a kindergartner. Like, <laughs> I just don't get it. And then, like, to look at the rest of it, look at the rest of the sneakers, something else I did notice because um, I watched some videos where people do real versus fakes. And, I mean, like, it really discouraged me from this shoe a bunch is right here now i used to be real big on fours i'm gonna tell you that but what threw me off was always the midsole because i would get highly upset at the fact that they cracked so bad no matter what you did you know what i'm saying your midsoles are going to crack eventually um but getting this shoe i was looking at it and i was like why does this look so weird like for me, it looked weird, like it was off a little bit. And then I went to touch it and realized it's not even attached to, it's like a stretchy rubber band material. Like what? Look at this. You see this? It's not attached. It's just, it pops. Like it literally comes up, you pinch it and it, it's just like rubber band. I, like what is that I again here's this one there's no pull up it doesn't it doesn't come loose it, it doesn't come off like it, it, it's attached on there it's it's nice you know what I'm saying like it literally looks see the squares on there then let me give you this one and then look at this one see that it looks like it got pink peaks on it or something so I called Nike. Yes, I did. Now, the right shoe isn't as bad as the as the left shoe. This one's actually pretty decent. You see that? There's no horrible brush strokes or anything like that on it. Nothing like that. No, but when you roll it around there, wouldn't you have it? Look at that. It looks like somebody wore it and they had like the flattest of flat feet and messed it up right in that arch area of the shoe so i was so unhappy so long story short let me go ahead and fast forward i call nike i'm i'm upset when i call okay so i'm not happy but i also understand as a consumer that it is not the fault of the customer service person that i am talking to on the line that this sneaker came to me looking like this so i will never ever be one of those people who goes off on a customer service person who were, who's just answering a call and has nothing to do with the quality of this product. So uh, the person I talked to, she was really polite on the phone. Um, and she kind of threw me, she threw me way off because like I said, I was in my feelings when I got this shoe. So when I called, yes, I was still in my feelings right now. I am still in my feelings about this sneaker. But um, she was talking to me and she was like, yeah, um, we can refund refund you your money for the sneaker. Um, you could just send it back to us. We can't replace it because it, it's it's not a shoe that we have. It's it's out of stock for the shop drop or whatever. So when she said that, I then it clicked in my head what was going on with this sneaker. I'm like, I don't want this sneaker, but I want this sneaker. So at that point. When she was asking me to make a decision, I literally couldn't make a decision. Like, I, I I, don't, I don't, I mean, I don't want this shoe. I am going to send this shoe back. But the fact that I was able to have this sneaker in my hand and after wanting it so bad for so long and then having like it, it's just like having a dream crushed. You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't know, like, I'm I'm very upset about this shoe. I just don't know 
what they can do about this. And I didn't, but I know she did tell me that she was going to get my uh, information over to the launch team, whoever that is, and they will call me within 24 to 48 hours. So this matter hasn't been resolved as of yet. Because like I said, I know the, these are being released on November 28th. And, you know, I, I can then also have a chance at getting another pair. But well, am I going to get the same thing? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I've watched videos where they do fake versus real. And this rubbery situation here is usually on the fake pairs. So, you know, I... I I'm confident that I could walk around in this shoe and nobody would notice, but I'm not going to do an on foot of this because when I do an on foot, I'm showing it to you because that's something I'm keeping. I'm feeling it. It, it is what it is. Um, and I'm enjoying that sneaker. But if I was to keep this sneaker, I would probably, I would definitely never wear it. I'm not going to even hold you up. I would never wear it. And every time somebody asks me, what's the sneaker you regret buying? this would unfortunately be it. So that is all the reason I need to know that this is a sneaker that can't stay in my collection no matter how bad I want it. So um, I am going to update you all as to the progress and what happens with the Nike launch team when they uh, contact me. They're going to contact me via email. So um, like I said, she said within 24 to 48 hours and I'll let you all know. But if anybody sees a video and they're blowing smoke up your ass about how great this shoe is, don't let them blow smoke up your ass, okay? Because this, the quality on these leave a lot to be admired. Like, this is not, this is not what I expected out of a Jordan brand shoe. Jordan, if by some reason you happen to see little old me on this video, um, when I think of you, I think of greatness. So when I get this shoe, you know what I'm saying? This is as close as I can come to wanting to, to actually being like Mike because I'm 5'1". So basketball was never in the cards for me. So these sneakers are how I get to live vicariously <laughs> when, <laughs> through, through, this is what that does. That, and, and for a shoe to come to me with a quality like this, it, it's just utterly depressing and disappointing and it's it's really just i need, I need y'all to step y'all game up um i know these are made overseas or whatever but you can't keep blaming them uh blaming the people overseas because this is your product this is what you put out and um your claim to fame is great products for amazing athletes so is that just for them or is it for the consumers as well that's my rant on these fours. I'm sorry I sound so drab in this video, but like I said, my feelings are sincerely hurt about this sneaker. So until the next video, which I'll probably drop tomorrow. Peace out, people. Check your pairs real closely, okay? Check your pairs.